going to be a first impression. A lot of these products are actually not new releases or anything like that, but they're new to me, except for one comeback product that I'm very, very excited about is the Hourglass Highlighting Palette. And I'll be using also the Dose of Colors uh, Frenchation Palette, so some cover effects duos. If you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start prepping my eyes with concealer. I'll be using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is new to me. It's not new, a new release or anything like that, but I've never tried it, so it counts as first impression. I'll be using my sponge to blend this out. So let's go to the palette. I'm excited. This is a Frankation Dose of Color palette. This is how the packaging looks like, beautiful. And these are the colors. So I'm going to start with this color right here, basic. I promise I'm not making the same mistake from the last video. So I'm going to take it with a flat brush like this and set that concealer. I'm going to take my blending brush, the Morphe M505, and I'll be using the shade right here. It's called Necessary just to put it all over my crease. I'm going to be using this one as my transition shade. So all the shades blend together. Now I'm going to be taking this one right here. It's called Churro to deepen up my crease. I'm barely touching my eyelid. These eyeshadows are very, very pigmented. Look at the difference. Okay, moving on to dipping out my outer corner, I'll be using this color right here, Cheens. Dang, these eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. With a clean blending brush, I'm going to go over the eyeshadow to make sure it doesn't look harsh. And then I'll go back again with the same color. And I'll repeat the same process going back to my clean blending brush and then again with the eyeshadow until I'm happy with the pigmentation and intensity of the color. I'm taking this color a little bit towards the middle of my lid because I think I'm going to be using this one kind of as my base for the shimmer shade that I'm going to put on top. And a little bit towards my crease as well. These are definitely one of the most pigmented eyeshadows that I've ever used. They're beautiful and they're easy to blend out, but when they're so pigmented like this, you have to be very, very careful. Back with my Morphe blending brush, I'll be using these Necessary shade again to put it all over my crease. And back with Churro as well with my blending brush. And now to the exciting part, I'll be using this blue shade right here. It's called A Moment. And I'm going to take it with my flat brush. This brush is not wet or anything. So I'm going to try it first like this and see how pigmented the shade is. Okay, I need to pick up more. Do you see? This is no joke. This eyeshadow is crazy. <gasps> Beautiful. This is not even wet. This is the eyeshadow by itself. Oh, no words. No words. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that because I, I think I, I wanna take this shade right here. It's called Game Over. It's like a black with shimmer as well. So I think I'm going to put it on my outer corner. That way it can meet the blue shade and create like a gradient. But I need another brush. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take this Real Technique Detailer brush. It's just kind of the same shape. It's, it's like a paddle brush. So I'm going to pick up Game Over and I hope I don't mess it up. Let's see. I'm 
going to use a fluffy blending brush. I'm going with the same shade, game over, and see if I can start like kind of like blending it out, smoking it out with that shade. Yeah. Back with a clean blending brush. I'm going over that shade. Excuse my eyebrows, they're on fire. Haven't been able to do them, so they'll be like this for a while. Okay, mm. back with my Morphe blending brush. I'll take Churro and go over my crease again. I'm going back with another blending brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's called Base Shadow Brush. I wanna pick up the blue shade so I can actually buff out the blue towards my crease. Heck yeah. I'm gonna use my finger to intensify the blue in a packet mode. Oh, look at that. I like it. I'm gonna try to do the same thing on my other eye. Now that I have that on, I'm going to clean my face because I have a ton of fallout. So, be right back. Okay. I'm going to continue with my face before I finish my eyes. So, I've never tried this foundation. I'm excited. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't. But you never know until you try. So, it's going to be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I hope this is my right color. So, what I'll do is that I'm going to use my sponge on one side of my face and the brush on the other to see which one I like best. I'm going to start with my sponge. <laughs> this is definitely full coverage. Not a bad match. For the brush, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Okay, I definitely like it better with a sponge. This is full coverage and I don't really love full coverage. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. So this is too much for me with a brush because the brush obviously packs on more product than the sponge does. So I'm going back with my sponge and try to rescue the cakiness. I don't know if I like it really. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, I'm going back with the CoverGirl concealer and I'm going to use my sponge. I think somehow my sponge got blue eyeshadow on it. And now I have blue eyeshadow underneath. Man. Okay, I should stop using it. I'm gonna use my brush. It's not bad, but I think it's kind of like emphasizing my fine lines underneath my eyes. But it definitely covers. Okay, I'm going to finish my eyes before I continue with my face. I'll be using the palette and a smudger brush like this. Going back to the shade necessary. I'm going to smudge it underneath my eyes. Going back to Churro with the same smudger brush. And finally, I'm going to take Cheese and focus it on my outer corner. <sighs> ah! How do I fix it? <sighs> okay, almost. I almost lost it. With a detail brush, I'm going with basic and I'm going to highlight clean my brow bone. Did I say it already? But my eyebrows are on fire, man. I need to clean them up. Ooh, uh. They're looking like two caterpillars on my face and kind of Frida, Frida Kahlo territory. <sighs> you like? I like. I like it. Now to my favorite part, bronzer. So I order um, these past 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. 
the Cover Effects Duo Bronzer and Blush. So I'll be trying these today, I'm excited. I always wanted to try them. So when they went on sale, I got them. So I got the shade Sun Kissed Bronze for my bronzer. So pretty. I like the packaging. It looks like a bar of soap. Beautiful. So this is my kind of thing. That's why I'm so excited. I love piling on bronzer. I love putting bronzer on top of my bronzer. So especially I like using a matte bronzer first and then a shimmer bronzer on top. That's my favorite thing to do. That's what I do all the time. So this will be amazing for travel. I just need to travel with this and I'm set. I don't need to travel with two or three different bronzers. I'm not sure about the undertone because I like my bronzers to be a little bit more warm than cool, but we'll see. So I'm taking the matte shade first. Almost forgot to take this off. Isn't it satisfying? This is definitely a warm bronzer. I thought it was gonna be more on the cool tone side. I like it. It actually reads more red on the face than it does on the pan. I think, in my opinion, when I look at it. Oh. I'm pleasantly surprised, I like it. Very pigmented though. I think I'm looking like a Oompa Loompa already. Ah. Okay, clean brush. No, to be very careful. But I like it. Okay, now let's try the shimmer side. It's very subtle, more than I thought it was gonna be. I like it. I'm excited to try the blush. The blush that I picked up is in the shade Soft Peach. What a surprise. I love peachy blushes. That's pretty much all I have. Peachy or nude blushes. How pretty. Okay, same thing. I'm going to take the matte side. Blends so nicely. I like it, like very, very seamlessly. They look like part of your face. They don't look like they're sitting on top. They don't look chalky or splotchy, nothing. Very beautiful. And of course, I love my shimmer, my glow, my glow from within. Pretty. I like it. I'm excited. I love these two. I'm glad that I got them. And I got them on sale. Even better. I got the two for the price of one. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is actually a comeback. Um, two years ago, I think, Hourglass came out with a highlighter palette. It was a rave. Everybody was happy about it. A lot of people loved it, but of course it was limited edition, like a lot of products from Hourglass, so I never got my hands on it. And I was on Instagram, of course, I was on Instagram and I saw an ad that it was coming back on April 6th. And I was like, thank you God. I signed up on the Hourglass website um, to be notified when it was actually released. And I got it! I'm so excited. I love Hourglass products, like a lot of you guys already know. One of my favorite brands ever, especially for powder products. I haven't tried much of their foundations or lipsticks, but they're the powders, bronzers, blushes, finishing powders, chef kiss, they're amazing. I'm excited, this is what the palette looks like. I'm not too sure if it's limited edition still or if it's going to be part of the permanent line, which I don't think so. I think it's coming back for a little bit and then it's gonna be gone again. Who knows for how long? So I will suggest you go and get it. 
but let's try it first. <laughs> I know a lot of people like it already and not, I love hourglass, so I know this is gonna be my jam. I think I want to use, should I mix? It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna try these three of them. So I think I'm going to use, ah, so hard. I think I'm gonna use this one. This one's called Lucent Strobe Light. So use a pink one here to highlight. Pink here, here. <laughs> so pretty. I love it. I'm gonna use this one actually to highlight my inner corner. This is definitely a must. This is definitely a must. Going back to my eyebrows, I don't have a new pencil to try, so I'll just use my A Cosmetics Brow Power. For my eyebrow gel, I do have something new to me. I haven't tried it ever. This is the Anastasia Brow Gel, the clear one. So I'm excited. A lot of people love it and I've never tried it. I've heard that it's like glue for your eyebrows and I love that. My eyebrows just stay up all day. I like it, I like it a lot. For mascara, I don't have anything new either. So I'm going with my Lancome Monsieur Big mascara that you guys know I love. Hi again. Today's not my day. Damn. Okay, after 300,000 coats of the mascara, I'm going to move on to lips. I'm also excited because I got on sale in the 21 Days of Beauty. They had these um, hot buys or something like that, and nude sticks was there. So I got a lipstick. It's actually called a lip and chick pencil. The shade and ties. It's a peachy nude. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Mmm, very creamy. It says matte, but it doesn't feel drying. Like it glides right on. Very pigmented. And I really like the pencil shape of it because you can kind of like outline your lips with it so it's like two in one i love something like this this is definitely my color i love it for setting spray i'm going to use the mac fix plus this is a coconut version i've used the regular version before but i've never tried the coconut one barely smell it. Mm, smells nice, but I wouldn't say it smells like coconuts. It just smells nice. I really like Fix Plus. I've used it before. I know it's the same formula, but I thought it will count. The first impression because I never tried the coconut one. I love Fix Plus, but the only thing that I don't like about it is actually the nozzle of the spray. I think it kind of like spits at you. MAC is being around for forever. They're amazing. It's a cult classic, and I don't freaking understand why they keep the same bottle, the same nozzle. Change it. It's not nice. It really isn't. But the formula is amazing amazing it's one of my favorite setting sprays ever i think it melts down the powders it makes your makeup look like it's part of your face not on top of your face i i love it okay this is it we're done let me tell you the palette is beautiful i'm sure i'm gonna be using it a lot i'll be doing other eye looks soon because <laughs> i can't wait to use it again with probably this shade over here it's just calling my name i love it like a 
gold greenish shade. Beautiful. To me, it's worth it. It's, it was one of the best pigmented eyeshadows that I've tried, for sure. I love it. It's beautiful. The two cover effects duos. Did I say how they, they're called? They're called the monochromatic blush duo. Matt and Shimmer, okay. So I love them. Um, I think I'm gonna be using them a lot for sure, especially when traveling, because it's like two in one. It's my thing, matte and shimmer on top. The foundation, I'm still on the fence. To me, it's a little heavy for what I'm used to. It's definitely full coverage, and I like more of a light coverage, lightweight foundation, but it's good if you like a full coverage foundation. I think it looks fine. It doesn't look cakey or heavy, it's just not what I'm used to to wear. So I think that's why I'm like, mm, I don't know. The Hourglass palette, do it. Do it while you can, get it. I think it's amazing, beautiful, well worth it. Because they're pressed, I think they, they are, um, what's it called? Baked, the, the formula, it's very, very smooth. It glides right on. It looks like part of your face. It doesn't look too heavy or too metallic -y. It doesn't have any shimmer at all, which I like. So I don't want any glitter on my face. I like it on my lids, but I don't like it on my face. So these, it's beautiful. The concealer is nice. I just need to keep using it to see if I really like it um, or not. Right now it looks pretty good underneath my eyes. I, I didn't even set it and it's not creasing yet. So. That's a good sign. I'll keep using it and I'll keep you updated and see. The lipstick, I don't even have to say much about it. I love the color. It doesn't feel drying or heavy on my lips. I just need to try on my cheeks and see how I like it that way, but so far so good. Oh, the eyebrow gel. If I go like this, I can actually feel it on my eyebrows which I don't mind, it's a good sign. It, it means that it's going to stay there <laughs> and I like that. I think that's it. Quick review there. <laughs> I really like the products and I like the eye look that I come up with. Also, if there's any products that you'd like me to try for the next videos, please just let me know. If you have any video ideas as well, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to film them for you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the information down below as well as all the products that I use today. And if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Um, I use it on this video. <laughs> of course I use it on this video. <laughs> this is the last time I'm going to do it.